All right, I'm going to cut across to my colleague Nibir also, who's joining us from Guwahati at this point in time. Nibir, very interesting constituency of uh, Guwahati, uh, one of the 14 Lok Sabha constituencies in the state of Assam. It comprises 10 assembly seats. 2019, Queen Oja won uh, the Guwahati elections, but this time the battle predominantly is between the Bharati Janata Party and uh, the uh, Indian National Congress and both the people uh, Bijuli Kalita Medhi and Meera Goswami are debutants. They are fighting this uh, battle for the first time. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is uh, all uh, women uh, seat which are in battle because the main challenger Congress is taking on the BJP. Both are women candidates. We just have the polling ended at around 5 p.m. The polling numbers are yet to be out and as per 3 p.m. data it is above 50 per, 60 percent but the data is said to be right. But you are absolutely right in the sense that this time both are new faces. Mira Bhattakur Goswami contesting from the Congress and from the BJP, Bijuli Kalita, who is contesting uh, 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 because the current incumbent MP, Queen Oja's seat was not retained and BJP opted for a change. Bijuli Kalita has been working in Guwahati as a deputy mayor earlier and there is considerable uh, the cloud that she enjoys because she has been working here, but Mira Bhattagar is also very vocal and this is a very important class that we are seeing in Guwahati in the last phase of elections in Assam because from today, the elections in the Northeast is set to wrap up. This also includes other three constituencies in the lower part of Assam, Borpeta, Kokrajar, as well as Dubri. These are very crucial seats as the BJP are eyeing at least three out of the four seats in the last phase of the elections. And they are also, the Assam Chief Minister has stated that the BJP and the NDA allies are at least trying 13 out of 14 seats. So for the last phase of the elections are very crucial uh, for the BJP and Guwahati is a high profile seat. It is the heart of the Northeast. It is one of the biggest cities of the Northeast. So this is a very high profile constituency and the clash is directly between the BJP and the Congress. The uh, Bijun Kolita is being taken on by the challenger from the Congress, Mira Bortakur. So it is a very crucial clash and we saw high level of enthusiasm among the voters, the elderly, the women and the first time voters all participated in the democratic process and all came forward to cast their valuable vote. Nibir, in the last Nibir what are of some, of, some of the issues that the people are going to be voting for? There is also the relocation of the fancy bazaar, you know, which has uh, been in the media of late. Uh, the land rights uh, in the hills are also something which the people are going to be voting on. And the entire, you know, development and in infrastructure of Guwahati is also uh, found wanting. Are these some of, uh, you know, the top agendas that people will be casting their vote on? Well, absolutely right. You are spot on here. We are currently in the fancy bazaar periphery areas. There is a constant concern that this area is going to be relocated. Development and infrastructure are very crucial aspects in terms of the voters. We are just uh, in opposite to the Brahmaputra river uh, front and there is riverfront development being constructed here. So this is a very important issue for the voters in the Guwahati. Guwahati is a very difficult constituency because it has both rural as well as the urban aspects. The urban aspects consist of the infrastructure and the development and the bridges that the BJP has been banking on to, to get their votes. They have done considerable amount of development projects here in the city. However, there is also a rural aspect of Guwahati wherein we are connected with villages in, in parts of Gualpara and other parts of the tribal belt, which also connects to the Guwahati. So their aspirations and their issues are very different. They want better roads, they want better education, they want more access to the city, while the city people are more concerned about the civic issues as well as the development issues. So there is a mix of issues here both for the city as well as for the rural areas and the issues are very different for different people. I am myself a Guwahati voter, I am an urban voter but my issues will be very different to someone who is residing in the rural side of the Guwahati constituencies but this is a very crucial challenge for the BJP. They want to retain the seat. They have been winning here since for a long time but the Congress is also putting up a challenge in terms of of challenging the party whether they have delivered all the promises that they made when they were voted in power in 2019 when they won this very crucial seat. Back to you. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.